It is 4 a.m. and we're in the Lomie market in the east region of Cameroon. This locality is found around the Jar Forest Reserve in the east region. With the population growth, the pressure on the animals is going beyond reasonable proportions. The animals alongside their babies are being killed. Hunting is done these days with sophisticated weapons, which means decimating huge populations of animals. Again, the blossoming in the trade for ivory and some rare species has encouraged poaching. The traders involved in the decimation of our fauna are said to live in big cities and work hand in glove with the local hunters. Since our parents started hunting, it is not regulated. Since the advent of FCTV, hunting is being regulated. People enter with cartridges, kill animals, and the next day, they go out again. The Cameroon government has been making serious efforts alongside NGOs like the Fondation Camerounaise Terre Vivant, the FCTV, to try and curb the assault or serious pressure on animals. The FCTV has also been working hand in glove with the communities as well as with forest guards to reduce the prevailing conflict between the two parties, which has several origins. The organization of the sector started with a training during which they were sensitized on what the law says on bushmeat, how they can get organized to carry out this activity, and the role of eco guards with whom they have always been fighting. In Lomie, in the east region of Cameroon, owning a hunting gun, especially the locally fabricated one, is a tradition. A project on bushmeat by the Fondation Camerounaise Terre Vivant, the FCTV. It is aimed at protecting the resources of the Jar Forest Reserve and organizing hunting in this part of the country is on. Thus, they have been holding meetings with vigilante committees to carry out a censorship of guns. In this village which we visited during the censorship process, only 10 guns were declared and for that reason its owners benefited as their taxes on these guns were paid as a sign of encouragement. The villagers are encouraged to go in for hunting and collection licenses. It is one of the most incredibly biodiverse countries in the world and certainly in Africa. So you come to Cameroon, you start working with people and you get involved in the environment because the environment is a massive part of who Cameroon is. In terms of the protection of animals in particular, what we noticed was there was a lot of conservation organizations and different people coming in talking about animals, but sometimes forgetting that when you talk about wildlife and you talk about the environment here in Cameroon, you can't talk about any of that without talking about people and without talking about local people. The two are very much related. So our background expertise is working with local communities, is engaging with local people to help them develop solutions to their challenges, which is why when Bristol Zoo was talking to us, to Living Earth Foundation, about their, their work and then wanting to develop more of a program in Cameroon around protecting these animals, we decided to join forces so that we could bring people, expertise if you like, Bristol Zoo bringing animal expertise, and working in partnership with the local organization, FCTV, mm -hmm. the three of us together could really try and address the challenges related to animal protection, but in a way that takes the needs and the interests of local people into account. I mean, the problem is very, very complex, but the approach is actually very simple. And it's just about listening to people, hearing what they say, and then acting on that.